Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this Love From Lizzie May 2018 card kit unboxing. This kit has lots of quality goods and if you're a new or old you'll enjoy them just the same. So this particular kit I've taken things out of the resealable bag which ensures everything arrives safe and sound and dry and all together. So we're just going to lay that off to the side. New to the kit is this stencil. It's a Love From Lizzie exclusive and we'll have a look at that in about two minutes. Well, less than two minutes. So on to the Love From Lizzie exclusive stamp set. As with every stamp set I get, I top, cut off the top where it is sealed so that I can keep all of the information together. Now this is a Love From Lizzie exclusive that's made in England of high quality photopolymer. And if you're a new stamper, all of the instructions on how to stamp are on the back as well as care for the stamp and all the places to connect with Lizzie. Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, her blog, website, the whole gamut. And then I'm going to remove this from the sheet and we're going to have a closer look at it. <clears throat> so we have hibiscus and two different uh, views, four sentiments, <clears throat> excuse me, two leaves, a banana leaf, and we'll call this a fern. And then we have a nice border or decorative stamp that is of the uh, flower and the leaf repeatedly. Now back to the stencil. This stencil has the negative and the positive. So the positive, in order to uh, cover these <clears throat> the way that they should be, you have the Love From Lizzie Totally Tropical facing you. And, <clears throat> excuse me, the stamp placed in the way that it is on the sheet. So every sheet has an image on it. On this sheet, it's right here. So if that's facing the way that it's indicated on your imagery, image sheet, you would just lay that right on top of it and it matches perfectly. So that's your banana leaf. Let's hold that up so you can see. Just covers that perfect. And then we come down to the um, smaller flower. That's perfect as well. And then onto the larger. And that matches it perfectly too. And then up to the fern. Perfecto. So there we go. And then the negative portions. So you could use the stencil here for uh, blending, uh, so many different things. But the mask you can use by placing a Tombow or a spray, re repositional spray adhesive or your Xyron repositional glue to the back of this and it will just lay over the image because you want to um, blend ink or any other thing that you need to cover your image and these will cover it much better than cutting out um, images from post-it notes and other things. So I'm just going to put this back into its case or sleeve. I'm going to put the negative in one part and the positive in another. So here's the positive and then the negative is going to go in behind. So when I decide to uh, use my stamp set, I have everything the way it should be. So the sentiments here are for you, sorry you're leafing, wild about you, and I'll always be leafing you. And that's the whole set with the coordinating stencils. How good is that? So we'll get on to the papers and other things. Here we have the gold mirror peel off, so Love From Lizzie exclusive as well in three different sizes and these I use in uh, my card making if you want to have a 10 cards one kit video uh, from last month have a look at that and you'll see the way in which I've used these but the great where two different papers meet 
a long edging on the inside of your card and the leftovers just get stuck back onto the release paper for further use. They're a great addition to the cards. And this is um, the negative from um, sequence being made. So this is interesting in that I'm sure um, there's quite a few ways they're going to be used by people that uh, have the kits, so I'll be easy, eager to see how you use them. Any suggestions please uh, include in the comment section. And then we have 16 pieces of 6x6 six six paper. This has a pearlescent finish on top of the imagery. So you've got a couple different kinds of birds here with some greenery against a navy background and you can see the shimmer. It's beautiful paper. And on the back it has the oyster with a gold shimmer. The, this one's like an optical illusion. At first you see just different squares but then as you look you realize that it's diamonds. So that's um, on a, it's like a steel gray blue on um, gold and that is single sided. Here we have uh, like an animal print in uh, navy but it's um, not a consistent color of navy and then the navy portions have gold flecks all through it. It's very nice and that is single sided. Butterflies in various shades of green and blue with some aqua, dark aqua or turquoise against a very dark green background. And it's double sided. So it's just a hint of gold every now and again in this paper. It's not like a shimmery. And this resembles an animal print. Except it's in blue and green and black. And carrying that blue turquoisey green uh, further we have this piece. This here is a hibiscus in here with uh, leaves in the black and then little smaller flowers in the green and turquoise or dark aqua depending on how you want to look at it. In the back we have a trellis with a turquoise and then hibiscus various shades of green and yellowish green and then ever so often you can see a fleck of gold in there in the paper not a high shimmer, but enough that you see it. And that has the trellis with the uh, turquoise against the olive green. It's more of a mottled olive green. This particular one in here, those all have little lines and you can see that on this piece of paper. Makes it interesting. It almost looks like it's wrapped you know, like an ankle wrapping or whatever. So that's your dark turquoise against your uh, dark gray or medium gray and every so often you can see the fleck of gold through the paper. And this has, this almost looks like somebody's taken uh, yellowish green and olive green against the black and um, with a sponge, sponge that color onto a medium turquoise background and this has a few few gold speckles every now and again but not a shimmer. Then we have um, birds again we have two different kinds of birds again, on branches the flowers beautiful greens reds yellow pretty and this has a little bit of gold through it you can see it there on a few of the birds and then on the back it's striped and the green background is modeled as well. You can see it when I hold that. It's almost like there's an image superimposed on there. And here this is like an optical illusion as well. It looks like tiles but then when you see it up close it's just dashes. And on the back is this dark brown color a little bit of flecks of gold through it
This very much looks like fabric or canvas. When you get closer, yes, you can see that. Woven effect. It has no texture, but it really looks like it might. And then we have a chevron. The edges are a little ragged, so it's not a clean edge chevron. So it's turquoise, more of an aqua. We've got a, a grayish <clears throat> black, an olivey green. It makes a nice assortment. And then this has spot gloss on the leaves. Just on the leaves, the white doesn't have any. You can see that there. And there's nothing on the back. Different shades of green. And that one on the bottom here is green, although it looks black. Spot gloss on this as well. On the dashes and on the little, uh, looks like brush strokes put together. And that too is one is single sided. Some more leaves. It has uh, gold flecks within the paper, but not a shimmer. And that is single sided as well. Different color greens against a dark gray or black background. Here we have the hibiscus with the white flowers and the greens. This almost looks like it's, you know, it's velvet or has texture, but it doesn't. It's very pretty paper. The insides of the flowers are yellow <clears throat> and then uh, it's uh, it's a vanilla. They're not white. I may have called them white but they're not and that's single sided. And here we have high shimmer butterflies on um, just greenery. This little red flower the center is here. There you go. You can see that little red speckle. And then butterflies have a lot of detail. And that's got the oyster high shimmer on the back. And this as well has a lot of greenery. Maybe got the vanilla on this to make it really stand out. Definitely looks like a jungle, does it not? <laughs> and on the back, it's just uh, single sided. And here we have some specialty papers. We've got this laden green with the gold shimmer all over it, and it's double sided. That gold mirror paper, single sided. And of course, the other is single sided. And then we have this gold shimmer paper. Ooh. And that too is double sided. And now on to the cardstock. So this is um, North American letter size. So we have red, yellow, green, and very pale gray. And then we have green mirror dots on a white background, and this is international paper size. And then we have two pieces. One's a Copic paper. I'll measure this for you. This is a uh, North American letter size as well. I think, gosh, let me see, me. 11, yeah, 11. So this is Copic friendly paper, and then we've got some thinner layering paper. So that's the papers. Let's get into the embellishments. First up, we have this little piece of feather boa. Um, I'll be interested to see how people use this. Three pipe cleaners in green. 
Here's our sequin mix. I didn't get into that. So we have the very small. We have cupped and uh, non-cupped. And then this is just a sample. It's not a full size. And then we have gold and green and mother of pearl. And there's even a real dark green in here. Various sizes, flat and cupped, although the majority are cup sequins. So pretty. And let's see, we've got some glimmer paste. Here it is. This stuff goes a long way, so you only need a little bit. This green will probably last, and this little tub will probably last me a lifetime. And in case you have the Pure Sheen Nouveau, I tried, they're not the same color. And we have some Love from Lizzie Golden Crown Embossing Powder. Now this is not going to look like that once it's melted do that for you quickly. So, so this is a Nouveau. Yeah, I'm just going to put it on a little piece for you. And a Nouveau calls theirs clear mark. You want to see that? Um, get it open. There we go. So I'm just going to put a little square there. Put a little bit on so you can see what it looks like. Pour it back into the container. So this is 13 grams, so it's full size embossing powder. Okay, turn down your volume if this is going to bother you. Just let it heat up a little bit. So not at all like it looks in the container, which is what I wanted to show you. It's like a proper antique gold. So it goes from this brownie color to this warm. So that's what that looks like. I've got a full, full 13 grams of crown, a golden crown embossing powder. It's a Love from Lizzie exclusive. We have two tags. wood veneers. So we've got like tags and you can put them either way, a large opening or a small opening. Hold them up so you can get a better look. Do you how you want to display them? We've got thick flowers so that imagery on one side and then on the other. This one too, they're thick, very thick. And then we have this on one side and then plain on the other. Same thing with this one, very thick. And then we have this design, plain on that side. And then we have five golden leaves. And there's a hole at the top, so if you wanted to string them on something, you very well could. A full size Nouveau Jewel Drops in the shade Strawberry Coolius. Coolis. So that's nice. And then we have 
some green metallic thread. Sure how to display that. I'll put it on the same as the embossing. And ooh, where did it go? Here it is. It's green. Nice and shiny. That's that. And then we have the gold lame ribbon. And then we have the green sequin. It's good when it's on a string, so you can do multiple things with it. And then we have the green and white woven ribbon. It's green on one side and green and white on the other. Palm trees. And then this is interesting in that we have this string of green. So it's this side, this color on one side, a very dark green, and on the other, it's the olive. So let's see if I can twist this and then you can see. Now the thing with this is that you can cut these leaves off. You don't have to leave them on a string or you can leave them that way. Um, there's a piece of the boa there, so excuse that. So let's see how we're going to do this. Twist it this way. There we go. So we have the olive on one side and then the dark green on the other. You can see that. Get this sucker to lay down we'll be all set. There we go. Two very different colors. And then we have the thin ribbon which is uh, Great for the insides of the cards and it ties really well. So we have the brown, almost like a rusty brown, and then the white. And so I think that's all that there was, was two pieces of that. Yeah, that's all that's in mine anyway. So that's for the embellishment bag with the exception of this die. Here we have it. It's a bird. So that's great. Let's see what the dimensions of this is. So it is two and three quarter inches from the top of its head to the bottom of this tail <clears throat> and then widthwise. So let's say one and a half inches from this cut line to the cut line on um, uh, what do I call that? A foot. And then my special thing that I have that I ordered, I'll show you because you may be interested in it too. So it's a Dina. Wakely Media Scribble Sticks. It's 12 pieces. And this is the second one. I have the first one. So this is the second one. So um, if you're interested, well, Lizzie ships worldwide. And um, yeah, so the last number on this one is 616, um, and this one is 33. Three. Two different ones like me to open them. I guess I should open them. What's the sense of looking at the case? But they're great. I mean, if you know how to mix colors, it's, um, it's all you really need are these two. They're water-soluble soluble pigments sticks. Goodness. So, here we have it. This is the new one. This is the old one. So thank you so much for joining me. I'll try to include uh, links for Lizzie's shop and this particular kit or any information that you may require on subscribing. Um, kit subscribers are sure to get their kit every month. They sell out really quick. And um, 
because all of the subscribers get theirs first and then what's left goes into the general population for a one of sale. So if this is something that you're interested, please go to lovefromlizzie.com and uh, or go by one of the links in the description below on this video here on YouTube for information. Thank you so much for watching and taking time out of your very busy day to spend it with me. Bye-bye.